guys. I think we are inside a human body. That's cool. But I really want to know why we are in here. It wasn't me, I swear. Okay, we never said anything. Guys, let's not worry about that. In this body, I see a lot of viruses in here, like the superbugs. Wait, so what are superbugs anyway? Superbugs are bacteria that have developed a large resistance to antibiotics. Right now, there is no cure against them since the current medicines are no longer effective. What are the symptoms of these superbugs? Here, I'll show you. Take us to the skin. See these white dots here? These bumps and pimples are an obvious symptom when someone is infected with superbugs. This is so gross. I think I popped one pimple. This is ridiculous. I just got these new shoes. Yeah, just be careful, because if you pop these zits, the bacteria inside will cause an infection. Anyway, some more symptoms are infections in bones and heart valve problems. How did superbugs come about in the first place? Well, back then, people were overusing antibiotics and kept buying them when they weren't necessary. This is because people mistook bacteria for viruses. May I help you, sir? I would like to get some antibiotics, please. Here are some antibiotics to help you with the sickness. When people took antibiotics to cure viral diseases like the flu, the medicine did not destroy the viruses. Instead, it actually destroyed the bacteria that helps digest food. These antibiotics will help you with the flu in no time. Only use them once a day for one week and come back afterwards. The superbugs grew more stronger and started to spread to other people. One of the most common was through direct contact with another person. Hi Sarah. How are you? Oh hi Aaron. How's your day been? Pretty soon, the superbugs started to spread rapidly because of the lack of education on the antibiotics and the lack of sanitation. This caused the number of cases to shoot up drastically. The recent superbug outbreak at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center has caused over 179 cases, with two reported deaths. People call the superbug the nightmare bacteria. I also heard that the virus is called CRD. The outbreak started when seven patients in Los Angeles contracted CRD after faulty endoscope sterilization. The superbug has developed an enzyme called ESBL, which makes it resistant to medicines. South Asia is mostly at risk of superbug colonization in travelers, with East Asia next. Also, a traveler might unknowingly bring the superbug to his or her own country. That is how the recent outbreak at the UCLA began in the first place. It is said that the most dangerous place to be is in the hospital, as the bacteria is most viral there, and one is more likely to acquire the bacteria. There are very few antibiotics that work against the superbug. However, some of the working antibiotics can cause kidney damage, according to CNN. We need to conduct more research. Exactly. There are multiple ways to prevent superbugs from spreading. Basic hygiene such as washing the hands, using hand sanitizer, and consulting your doctor is the best way. Julia, have you gotten your teleportation device working? We should get out of here. Finally, I got it fixed. Now let's get out of here.